What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. We are playing a track uh, very recently released by Higo383 and it is Diabolica MX. Now, I have really, really missed the sound of two strokes in these videos and just having a look through the screenshots, hopefully I'm overlaying them right now when I don't get lazy when editing, um, but this looks like a very, very fast track. So I've hopped on the CR500 today and we're going to go for a little bit of a rip. Not the best start I've ever had to the video. <laughs> so um, just having a read through the, uh, the mods post of this track, uh, it says he's very, very proud of this. Seems like it's taken a hell of a lot of work and I am part of the Fat Muppet Discord and I see Higo and Fat Muppet in there uh, fairly often, I'm guessing, bouncing ideas off of each other. And, oh god, uh, first thing I saw straight away is uh, it looks like, uh, just from the decals, I guess you'd call them, just the actual on-track materials, it looks like quite a hard-packed track, so I'm interested to see what the traction is like. That's, oh, that was bloody close. And I also wanted to try riding the CR500 today because I don't think, oh my lord, land from Ohio, thank you, I don't think I've actually ridden one of the big big bikes on the new tyres so this will give me a nice uh, nice insight see how things go because previously it's just not been not been very enjoyable unless you're on that soft soil um, kind of surface type it seems really really slippery but so far so good it, it seems very very grippy now I have gone to the extreme you know I've put on the fattest tyres possible so uh, oh hang on what's this gonna be like oh downside it perfectly oh let's go I'm already, already getting a little bit steezy. Oh, boing. Land it, land it, land it, land it. There we go. Getting a little bit steezy already. There's some absolutely huge ruts in these corners as well. Which, uh, again, I'm, it looks like hard pack. So having massive ruts is a little bit... Or slash burns is a little bit of a weird one. But I'm really not complaining. I would much rather have a track that has absolutely massive fuck-off uh, berms or ruts in every corner than a flat track. So we absolutely love that. We're here for it. That's I'm not surviving that. Oh my lordy, fully deaf. So, having a little read through, sorry of the mods post, it seems like the only thing uh, Higo really wanted out of everyone is, if he was making a video on it, run the max graphic settings because he's put a lot of time and effort into it. So, just for you Higo, I've put on 3D grass. I don't usually because I hate, you know, on some tracks where you get the little, like, dirt clumps. That was pretty sick. Uh, the little dirt clumps everywhere, I hate that, which is why I usually turn it off. But just for you, turn it on and thank God there's no dirt clumps around here anywhere. Now, Diabolica comes with three tracks. There is the main track that I'm running right now. There is a junior track, which is something called only really recommend for very very beginners to the game probably someone like my girlfriend for example who literally almost crashes every other jump uh, and then we've there is a what is called i believe it's called el diablo which is it's like a really long uh, enduro type track there's a couple of uh, logs and tires and such around there but i have ridden on it already i've uh, done it prior to recording for this video and it's one of them that is there's nothing like majorly exhilarating it's one of them where it's just a good bit of fun like a good time waster um, but i thought for the sake of the video we'll keep things nice and interesting and we'll have a rip around a very very fast flowy track on oh, a bike that really really welcomes the fast paced riding so these these big bikes on these games they do really just they want to be singing everywhere they hate going around tight twisty tracks and i mean nowadays the tracks that get made please land it oh, a lot of the tracks that get made do cater more for the smaller bikes and um, so it's really really nice to get a track like this actually where it seems like you, you are allowed to just open the throttle a bit and, and send majority of the jumps without having to worry about flat landing uh oh saying that absolutely case the daylights out of that one land it there we go and very very slowly so yesterday and today i've been playing the game a little bit uh, because i've been getting quite frustrated at myself with how how i'm playing um i know it's, it's gonna sound a little bit sad like i know that i can play better than i have been um my hours are very very low uh, they was it was an hour before making yesterday's video and it is up to three hours now i spent two hours yesterday playing just experimenting really as well with setup and kind of lean settings on this that and the other and after all the experimenting and messing around i completely forgot what jump that was that was very very close uh, i just ended up going back to what i had anyway so i've got exactly the same lean settings as my last setup video but on, on the topic of setups sorry whilst we're at it as well i do get a lot of people asking for setup videos and my stuff is identical to what it was in the last video i've not changed anything i'm usually one of them people that if I find a setup I like, I kind of stick to it and adjust my riding around the tracks and such. I don't really have a setup per, per track, so to speak, like some people do. Um, however, I feel like I've just been almost having like a, 
a midlife crisis in terms of MX bikes as of late, where I've not been playing well and I'm kind of blaming myself rather than blaming myself. And I know that I am the main cause. I've, I've not been putting in the times I should be, but I feel like I've had good enough reasons. You know, I've been been ill, been away, at, um, just like away from home and such. So, you know, life life happens. You can't always just grind away on uh, on games all day as much as we would like to. Uh, but I need a little bit of, I need some opinions now, actually. Um, I have kind of, if I'm honest, lost interest in the competitive side of things as of late. Now, I'm still in, I think I'm still in second place in both the EU and NA championships after missing two rounds. I could be completely incorrect there, but I believe that is the case. But I've just not got real, um, not really motivated um, to go back and, and do some more racing. So what I was wondering is, maybe down the line, if you guys want me to stream it just as like a commentator. Instead, I believe the 250s for EU is missing a commentator. Uh, I think they was meant to have one at the start of the season, but um, it just didn't come to be. But I know all the 450s are taken in both NA and EU, so yeah, it might just end up being a 250 thing. But I might see if I can, uh, might see if I can maybe uh, rustle, rustle some feathers, see if I can speak to the right people, maybe uh, get a stream or two in there. Because I have never, ever done a proper like commentary like race commentating and streaming i've always done it from my pov which i know is quite quite limiting uh, to be fair i probably would have to try and i'll get some practice in with the cameras because there's nothing more frustrating than watching someone when they're they're streaming it live from a commentator's perspective and they don't follow the the right action and the cameras are all over the place so I would have to do a little bit of practice in that regards, but I think it could be okay, uh, especially for the, the EU side of things, maybe, yeah, see if I can do some streaming, who knows. And I think I would probably enjoy that a lot more than competing myself, because I, I get to this point where, it happened to me on Sim as well, it's where I get a little bit too deep into it and I start expecting too much myself. I find the game gets a lot more infuriating, I'm, sh I'm sure some of you guys can um, probably understand this or relate to this in some way. It's uh, when, when you're first starting off a game, you know, you don't expect much of yourself. You're just having fun. You're playing the game for the sake of playing it and, and just having fun with the game. And then when you get better and better, you start expecting more and more of yourself. And when you don't kind of meet your own expectations, it probably gets quite frustrating. And I feel like that's the point that I'm at right now is I am a very, very competitive person, which I don't like being that way um, because it does, it ruins a lot of uh, experiences that I do in being overly competitive. I hate losing, even if it's a second place, I just absolutely hate it, I can't stand it. Um, but that's probably why taking a step back from the competitive side of things and just trying to enjoy things more is probably the right move for me. And as I said, I feel like commentating would probably, probably do that for me. Oh, please, like off the edge. Save it, save it, save it. We're good, it's good. <laughs> Turning into bloody Skyrim horse again, where you can just ride on the side with jump with no issue. This was the big boy. Let's send it for the fans. Send her sideways. Look at the rear wheel. Lovely, jubbly. So yeah, I just let me know your thoughts on that. If you'd be interested in uh, me commentating rather than racing as such, because at least that way, if I'm not getting like 200 frames or whatever it might be, um, there's no real issue. I, I know as well. Some of you guys will, if you've got higher end PCs, you'll relate to this where. You can you can notice a difference between like 200 frames and 120, for example. So even though the FPS looks fine, it's it's how it feels. It definitely feels different, and especially with the new AR, ARL tracks, for some reason my PC really it really does not like them, and it does uh, it does struggle to say the least. So yeah, maybe streaming again for that reason would be better. But I don't know. Let me know, folks, if you'd be interested in watching like a proper stream of it rather than a uh, first-person perspective, like I've done all these. Uh, well, for the last Supercross season. So I say all these years, it's not been all these years, but yeah, I'm getting, getting ahead of myself now. I've only been playing the game for like a, a year and a half. Give myself some <laughs> give myself some credit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the direction I'm looking. So do, do let me know. Going back to the track, because I'm aware that I don't always give these tracks the, uh, the attention and love that they need. First of all, I want to say straight out of the box, I am very, very happy and grateful that we are still getting free content for the game. Now, don't get it twisted. Higo has made it quite clear that he is more than welcome to receiving donations, and by all means, if you enjoy his work, please do go and do, do that. Um, because there, he didn't have to release this for free. Um, he could have uh, sat on it, waited, and waited to get kind of, I don't know if verify is the right word, but um, wait for the MX Bike Shop guys to give him the okay and be like, yeah, sure, you can, you can sell the track uh, on the website. Um, but fair play to him, because it looks like he's put a hell of a lot of work into this. He's literally given us three, three tracks of 
price of one, even though I'm only uh, covering this one here. And from what he said as well on the post is uh, after his last track, which oh god, what, what was his most recent track? I want to say it was it was either Shrubland or Coastal. Now I know I've done a video on Coastal. I don't think I've done a video on Shrubland Park. But if, whichever one it was, he said that he wasn't sure if he was going to make another track. So either he's addicted to it and we're loving life, um, or he's just uh, just really trying to test his skills and, and push his limits, which I know a lot of track creators do. That's why they get the bug. They're, they're perfectionists. They like pushing the boundaries, uh, trying to see what they can do uh, each part. But yeah, if, if you do enjoy uh, anybody's tracks that you get for free on the mods page, then if you have a couple of, uh, couple of dollars, a couple of pounds to throw their way, then absolutely go for it because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for the uh, the modders of the community, we probably wouldn't be it. I, I can only imagine that the MSM bikes and the stock for Voso tracks can uh, entertain you for so long. I feel like I have every right to say that, being probably the person that's put the most laps on Forest in this game's history. <laughs> that track, uh, even I think I'm bored of Forest at this point, even though I do like going for a uh, cheeky hot lap here or there. Um, so I just want to say thank you as well to Higo because he's provided me with uh, a good couple of videos in my time here doing this YouTube thing. And it's been really, really cool to see his growth as a track creator as well. I remember playing one of his very, very first tracks uh, and then just playing each one and you can just you can see progression each time a track is released and i would i'd go as far to say this is his best work i'm sure that he'd agree on it as well oh god get over that oh jesus i keep scuffing that one part of the track up which i don't mean to oh survive 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 oh Pavoso, he's done me dirt again with the low speed physics god damn it but i think i've made a very very good choice in bike for this video um some of these jumps are absolutely huge and i i keep there as well i keep forgetting what part of the track i want i keep jumping off to the side this is a big old send jump which i imagine if you're on a 125 you're going to be stretching her out a little bit there this is uh, probably going to be either an incredibly satisfying or an incredibly stressful track hopping on the old two strokes the 125 on me the 500 more than enough power for anything that you might need. 125, however, I can imagine you need to hit things absolutely perfect to be downsiding what you want. Up and over this. Oh, we're bogging it. We're in completely the wrong gear. Didn't expect to be in fifth gear right there. I need to have a look down at the, uh, the bottom right a little bit more. This is a very nice jump as well. I can feel the erode taking place underneath me. A little bit difficult to see, I might add. I can, I can feel the erode up in the right hand before you drop down, but I can't really see it. Uh, and I believe that is probably just due to the uh, the track decals that's been that's been used. But I, I do like it. I'm a massive, massive fan of tracks that use like a lighter track decal rather than darker. I think it's just easier on my eyes. You know, I'm I'm an old man at this point. Uh, every <laughs> every little uh, bit of help in being able to see where I'm going, I really really appreciate. Probably another reason why actually why I've probably been struggling on the recent ARL tracks is I find they're all so heavily shadowed and I, so I do run my shader overlays at the moment which uh, it does make the dark bits sometimes a little bit darker but a lot of the time it, it helps uh, improve the vision which is why I run them. Let me, I'm going to turn them off in the air here. What button is it? It's page, oh shit, wrong button. Page up, there we go. So you can see the, the massive difference. You, uh, or actually can you? If you can't see a change right now, I'm a complete idiot because I'm recording gameplay rather than desktop and I believe the shaders only show up on desktop rather than uh, gameplay, so I do apologise. Um, but yeah, no, this, tra this track is incredibly pretty. Very, very green, which I really, really like. And yeah, just just good, good, good stuff all round. I really, really appreciate the effort that's gone into this. And whilst he didn't make any indication as to if he was going to be making anything else, if he does, I would very, very much look forward to it. Um, Coastal Park was one of probably my probably one of the top 10 tracks that i would say that if i was just to hop on the game and scroll through my track list and i see it, i'd be like hey, you know what i'll go spin some laps on that uh, and then he's gone and done this as well and this is again one of them where it's not a difficult track by any means but it's one of them tracks that you can just go and put in some solid laps and just play the game and have fun and who doesn't love throwing a sideways at the end of the day and uh, any excuse to ride the bigger bikes i'm here for uh 450 man by default at the moment but anytime i can hop on the 500s i will do Oh, that was a big old case right there. Um, I'm just, uh, I really, really want like an old 
old school CR500, like plastics wise. Now we've got the, en the engine in it, it's like a 93, I think, somewhere, like but obviously we've got modern day plastics. So I'm hoping maybe we can get some of the older models in the Beta 18 bikes updates, which I have not got an ETA on. I've not spoken to anyone. I heard rumors of like Octoberish time, but there's really been no no word as of recent and we are getting closer to october with every day we're getting there uh, i would probably say maybe they'll do something like beta 17 where it comes right at the end of the year something like that it's just a it's a gift to everybody that'd be quite cool but who knows and uh, i think that'll do it for me i think i'm on lap eight i didn't realize i was panning out the laps like that so you can see just time disappears from you when you're having fun and this is a really good fun track so thank you very much Higo I will uh, be sure to play whatever it is that you race you know you know me I really really enjoy your track so thank you so much and to you guys if you've not downloaded it go and do it as I say there's three different tracks there's this main one that I'm playing there is an easier junior track to kind of like whet your appetite a little bit and then there is a quote unquote enduro loop which is more more like trails than enduro it's a very very easy just winding trail I guess is the best way of putting it. Um, that'll do it for me. If you've enjoyed the video, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is you're up to, and hope to catch you in the next video. Peace. I'm working up, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith, it's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I got